Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to Boardwalk Hall and the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in southern New Jersey for a much anticipated. Round number one, scheduled for the championship distance of 12. Missed the body shot. The kid's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Uppercut! Uppercut! He gave one right back in return. Nice work by the killer. Halfway through this round. The kid's not just loading up. He's landing combination punches like he did right there. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by the killer. Double jab, double jab. Fires off that hook. The kid's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Good combination to the head. The kid's movement is really helping him out, avoiding that punch. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. The killer's last round to me, Teddy, completely ineffective. His accuracy way off the mark, throwing punches, but lost the round. Joe, talking about being off the mark, if you're traveling outside, you're lost. You need a map to find your way. He needs a map right now to find his way. He needs some direction. Well, he's committed to the left hand, and it's paying off here. In and out. In and out. The kid's combination punching here is showing you what good boxing is all about. Three punches thrown, three punches landed. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. The kid's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Watch right hand to the head. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. A little head hunting with the right. Targeting that head with the combination punching. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Oh, uh, you see him with the left of the head there? The kid's doing well with that hook on the inside. That can be so effective when guys are toe-to-toe -to -toe at short range, can it? Especially when your opponent's standing tall. That's a big right hand there. Hold up! Oh, 
Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Boy, right on target with that double jab. Smashed by a hook. Double jab right to the face. The kid's at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. The killer's able to avoid that punch. Kid's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. One, two, one, two. Fires off the hook. Look at that. Good right hand. Able to cover up along the belt line. Blocks that one. The kid's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. End of the round here, and you can see that label of volume puncher was made for this guy as the punch stats prove true. Yeah, he doesn't care really where he hits you. It makes you think of those stories you used to hear in the old days. Maybe your grandfather, maybe your father talked about Rocky Marciano. Loved that guy former heavyweight champ of the world, he'd hit you anywhere, he didn't care. Back of the head, he hit you on the arms, and he start breaking you down. This guy doesn't care, he just rolls. <laughs> the kid's favorite punch is the jab. And tonight, he's loving it. Well, the jab is the table setter, Joe, and he set a beautiful table tonight. Napkin on the left, a little small fork on the left, knife on the right, and the food right in the middle. And he's eating all night. You taking some English etiquette classes? <laughs> you getting hungry? The killer's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. How about that left hand? Strike after catching one by the kid. That's classic work with the double jab. The killer's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Takes one, but gets one. Good work by the kid. Halfway through this round here. There's that overhand right. Stay focused on the inside. Very good, steady double jab there. Work the body, kid. Body. Able to cover up that gut. He returns the favor with an uppercut. The kid's showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. Wow, Teddy, he's got some great hand speed there. That combination was an example of it. Yeah, it was. You know, not a lot of power, not a lot of pop with it, but boy, it catches your attention. And you know what? That kind of speed can intimidate a guy and keep his opponent maybe from moving his hands later on. Another jab comes in. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Ten seconds remaining in this round. The 
Kitt starting to score at ease against his opponent there. Anytime you can land a three punch combination, you're really hitting your groove. I want to see more uppercuts, okay? He's moving in with his head down. You won't see the uppercut coming, all right? Stubby move. Round number four underway. The killer's been throwing a lot of punches, but Teddy, they've been completely ineffective. He's down on your scorecard, hasn't won a round yet. Well, this is a case where throwing punches is detrimental because he's throwing them from too far away, leaving himself wide open and getting caught. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Oh, and you can see now he's starting to target that jab. The killer stunned and staggered. And bang, and away he goes. That combination puts him down. One, two, three, four, five. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You gotta start moving that head automatically right now. You don't wanna stay in the middle. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by the kid. Carries that punch intended for the head. He's working butt. Combo lands to the head. The kid's ability to properly throw and land his combinations has been stunning. Teddy, why is he so successful? Because you just said it, he's putting them together. You know, one or two wouldn't land, but he's handcuffing the guy. And the first two punches, they set up the third and fourth. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Sets up that right hand with the jab. Punch combination there is going to impress the judges. The killer's well off the mark that time. Oh, what a left hand. Oh, and he crashes to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? The kid's your winner by knockout. Now, I think he was headed towards a decision win anyways, but what a good way to just put a stamp on his evening. Yeah, bring down the curtain and make sure that more people are going to be talking about you when they leave the arena tonight. For Teddy Atlas, 